We all know Willem Hollyder as the kidnapper of Freddie Heineken, as a blackmailer, and as a lovable criminal. He is perhaps the most famous criminal in the Netherlands. But what is his story, and how did he achieve this status? In this video, I will tell you everything about his bizarre life. But before I do that, I want to ask you to subscribe to my channel so you don't have to miss any videos. Willem Frederick Hollyder, also known as The Nose, due to his prominent nose, is a well-known Dutch criminal. He gained notoriety in 1983 as one of the kidnappers of beer magnate Freddie Heineken and his driver. After serving his prison sentence, he worked his way up to the top of the Amsterdam criminal world. In late December 2007, he was arrested again and sentenced to nine years in prison for extortion of real estate traders. He was released in 2012, but had not learned his lesson. In 2019, he was arrested again and was sentenced to life imprisonment for suspected involvement in six assassinations. Of course, Willem Hollyder was not born as a criminal. He grew up with his parents, his sister Sonia and Astrid, and his brother Gerard in Amsterdam. His father, an alcoholic and employee of the Heineken Brewery, was very aggressive and violent. As a result, Willem often experienced domestic violence. He has stated that he was beaten up by his father every day. This did not provide him with a good foundation for a decent life. On November 9, 1983, Freddie Heineken and his driver, Abdotterer, were kidnapped in Amsterdam. Willem Hollyder, Cor Van Hout, Jan Bowellard, Martin Erkamps, and Franz Meyer had planned their crime for two years. The kidnappers took their two victims to a soundproof warehouse on the western port area of Amsterdam and locked them up. Through letters, newspaper ads, and recorded messages, the kidnappers then communicated with the outside world. In total, they demanded 35 million guilders in ransom for the release of Heineken. The amount had to be delivered by a car with a driver, who would be guided to the meeting place by telephone instructions and hidden letters from the kidnappers. On November 28, 200,000 banknotes with a total value of 35 million guilders were handed over to the kidnappers. But despite the payment of the ransom, they were not released. It was not until November 30th that the two men could be rescued thanks to an anonymous tip. Bowellard and Erkamps were arrested almost immediately afterwards, but Meyer, Van Hout, and Hollyder managed to escape. Later that year, Meyer turned himself in, and in the spring of 1984, Van Hout and Hollyder were arrested. The kidnappers received prison sentences ranging from 8 to 12 years. After his release in 1992, he, together with Cor Van Hout, returned to the criminal circuit. He was allegedly involved in large-scale drug trafficking and extortion, but the authorities could not find evidence to convict him. In 1994, together with Cor Van Hout and real estate trader Rob Griffhorst, Hollyder bought an erotic nightclub, Casa Rosso, in Amsterdam's Red Light District. The trio also traded in prostitution properties in Alkmaar, a city in the Netherlands. In 1996, Hollyder had a falling out with C.O.R., after which he teamed up with his childhood friends Sam Klepper and John Meermet, who had recently tried to extort the duo and were likely responsible for a failed assassination attempt on Van Hout in March of that year. During the same period, Griffhorst was also sidelined, and Hollyder teamed up with financial advisor and real estate trader Willem Enstraw. In late 2002, Willem made the news when the December issue of the monthly magazine, quote, published a photo of Willem Hollyder in the company of Willem Enstraw. Enstraw, who was considered the banker of the Dutch underworld, had previously stated that he barely knew Hollyder. However, according to John Meermet, Hollyder was Enstra's strong arm. From that moment on, Willem Hollyder reportedly extorted Willem Enstra multiple times. Later, Willem Enstra was found dead, and shortly after, on May 17, 2004, 
he was assassinated in front of his office building on the orders of Willem Hollieder. On the night of January 29, 2006, Hollieder was arrested on suspicion of extortion and assault of real estate traders. One of the victims was allegedly the assassinated Enstra. Before his death, Willem Enstra had secretly spoken with the Criminal Intelligence Service. He reportedly stated that Hollieder was responsible for at least 25 assassinations, including those of Cor Van Hout, Sam Klepper, and John Nirenmet. On December 21, 2007, Hollieder was sentenced to nine years in prison. On January 27, 2012, after serving two-thirds of his sentence, he was released from prison. On December 13, 2014, Hollieder was arrested again. He had been conditionally released, but because he had threatened the well-known crime journalist Peter R. de Vries with death during his probation period, he was arrested. Hollieder was convicted of the threat. Because it was committed during his probation period, he also had to serve the last three years of his sentence for extortion, including a Venstra, among others. In early 2019, Peter Arg de Vries came under fire for making a phone conversation with Hollieder Public. In the phone conversation, which took place in April 2011, the criminal confessed to various things, including, according to him, threats against his own life and collaborations with other criminals. Peter kept this recording secret until seven years later, in 2018, it was revealed that Hollieder was planning to have de Vries killed. As we all know, Peter Arch de Vries was eventually assassinated in 2021, but to this day there is no concrete evidence that Willem Hollieder was involved. The court sentenced Hollieder to life imprisonment on July 4, 2019 for inciting six attacks between 2002 and 2006. These attacks resulted in five murders, one manslaughter, and one attempted murder, and one victim was left with serious physical injuries. The court found Hollieder guilty of forming a criminal organization with others to carry out these attacks. According to the court, these were calculated and organized killings carried out on order and for large sums of money. According to the verdict, Hollieder gave orders for five assassinations and one attempted murder, resulting in six deaths. On June 24, 2022, he was again sentenced to life imprisonment. He is currently being held in the high-security facility of the prison in Voot. What do you think? Is Willem responsible for these six liquidations? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single video.